Yeah. But I always think, yeah, I, I mean. You speak your mind, my brother. No, because I, listen, I had a little stint in my young life where I was, you know, trying to get out there. But I, I realized fast, that shit ain't for me. You know what I'm saying? I realized early. Streets ain't for everybody. There's no love in the streets. Yeah, I, I realized early. I ain't, I ain't got the heart for it. You know what I'm saying? But I always thought, like, if you're going to be a gangster, right, that criminal element is part of the job. You know what I'm saying? It's part of it. Because for me, gangsters got to make money. They got to get some money. They ain't, they ain't they not going to punch no clock. They ain't going to work no job, you know what I mean? And I tell, I told, I told Freeway, um, Freeway Rick, when he was on here, I think the drug dealers are the smartest dudes, like on the street. Period, because they have, they, they essentially run in a, a Fortune 500 company. They, they got some work. They flipping it. They coming back. They doubling it up. And you, you building an empire. You building this drug empire. So, that- but. That's your interpretation? That is. I feel like drug dealers are the smartest dudes on the streets because they have to manage all of this um, product, right? And then take it back to their customers. And then they have to hire employees to to be able to grow this into a bigger empire. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. I mean, first off, what's your interpretation of a gangster? Somebody who um, don't follow no rules, right? Like, like, like laws. Let me not say rules. Laws, okay. right? And somebody who don't take no shit. And they Stop they right. stand on principles. Stop right there. Okay. First two, don't no laws. Don't that sound like a damn fool? A lawless man is a flaw is a flawed man. So when I when I say law, I'm I'm speaking more so like the man made laws, right? The man-made laws I'm talking about, but there are there are unwritten street laws that you got to follow. The I'm, law of the land. Your law of the land. Okay. But I'm talking about like man-made laws, like the government, how they make, hey, you're not able to sell this. You can sell this. You're not able to go here. You can't go there. Like that kind of You know what, though? I'm happy you said that because I'm going to, and some I just seen in this room, a keep it away from me speaking on my brothers. Mm-hmm. We'll just speak on just, you know, some more uh, publicized and known, right? Okay. The brother on the wall right there was a successful gangster. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But look how they hated on him. Yeah. Gangsters do what? Destroy it. Yeah. When another gangster do better than another gangster, one or two things happen. It's just like two. It's like two dogs with one. When one dog, one three dogs, two males, one female. She come in heat. They ready to kill each other about that. Mm. So, he shine. You don't. But he worked for his shine. But you like that nigga can beat him up. So the successful gangsters are always what? It it goes from them being what? Extort it because now they brothers them. Think about it. Oh, bro, you got to look out for the hood. It ain't for the hood, it's for your pocket. Yeah, because at the end of the day, don't nobody own their neighborhood. Let's be real on that. See, if you won't claim tap in production, you own this. This yours, your LLC, whatever. That's your this, shit. this your room. This your you know, this might not be your building, but it's your room. Mm-hmm. So, but to get back on like, on them, majority, and it's been going on for years. One thing my big homie always taught me is, bro, succeed. He say, bro, you don't have to own everything, own something. How the white folks gonna tell you to get off the corner? Man, I I live here, I own this building. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, you get the fuck off my property. Mm -hmm. You carry your ass across the street. (laughs) Get from around, ain't nobody want you over here. And that's one thing that that my big homie them taught him. Bro, own something. You're nothing. You just you, you you're a mannequin. You you you're doing a mannequin challenge. You post it up, represent nothing. You don't own nothing out there. You you're disturbing the peace. So when they go to buying up neighborhoods and fixing up cars and and remodeling stuff in our neighborhood, 
because they don't want to give it because they grew up there. That is inspiration. That's a real big homie. Mm -hmm. Not nobody with his hand out. That's inspiration. Man, I want to be like, bro. You know what? Bro, I talk, man, man, bro, I just bought that old up for $20,000. That's what inspired me like, damn. Because ain't no money in. Because I'm going to show you something, right? And let's be real, world. Somebody slides somebody $3,000 to go handle business, right? Let me show you how, ig how ignorant that situation is. You just slid this dude $3,000 to go handle something, right? First and foremost, you're going to sit in the county jail for what, two years for a body? Maybe. M minimum, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> that ain't even two years worth of commissary. That's number one. Number two, for a first-degree murder, for a lawyer, is at $350,000. So you just whack somebody. Yeah, 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 let's put numbers. Let's, you just whack somebody for three bands. You ain't even whack, and you spent the money the same night. You just took a life for $3,000. That can't even bury him. That's, that's a cremation. And now you got a screech right. But you really running in running in fear. Cause now you worry about the person that paid you to come clean up house. And now you feel played. Now the remainder of your, your duration on earth, you mm -hmm. that's what's wrong with these young brothers. When I say brothers, I mean all brothers. Light, white, Hispanic, Orient, whatever. Stop losing your, that that's what I'm into, enlightening. Yo, bro, chill out. You like it ain't worth it. Mm -hmm. Don't make the mistakes we made. And one thing, see the difference is now, and 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 then, because I can look at you. You weren't scared to lose. These brothers are scared to lose. They're scared to walk with their eye split. They're scared to get a tooth knocked out. They're scared to get a broke nose, because <laughs> they pride is in the way. But they'll, they'll, they'll destroy somebody's family by taking somebody's life. 